We continue today with chapter 15, The Only Real Relationship. The holy instant does not replace the need for learning, for the Holy Spirit must not leave you as your teacher until the holy instant has extended far beyond time. For a teaching assignment such as his, he must use everything in this world for your release. He must side with every sign or token of your willingness to learn of him what the truth must be. He is swift to utilize whatever you offer him on behalf of this. His concern and care for you are limitless. In the face of your fear of forgiveness, which he perceives as clearly as he knows forgiveness is release, he will teach you to remember that forgiveness is not loss but your salvation, and that in complete forgiveness in which you recognize that there is nothing to forgive, you are absolved completely. Hear him gladly and learn of him that you have need of no special relationships at all. You but seek in them what you have thrown away, and through them you will never learn the value of what you have cast aside but still desire with all your heart. Let us join together in making the holy instant all that there is, by desiring that it be all that there is. God's Son has such great need of your willingness to strive for this, that you cannot conceive of need so great. Behold the only need that God and His Son share, and will to meet together. You are not alone in this. The will of your creations calls to you, to share your will with them. Turn then in peace from guilt to God and them. Relate only with what will never leave you and what you can never leave. The loneliness of God's Son is the loneliness of His Father. Refuse not the awareness of your completion and seek not to restore it to yourself. Fear not to give redemption over to your Redeemer's love. He will not fail you, for he comes from one who cannot fail. Accept your sense of failure as nothing more than a mistake in who you are. For the holy host of God is beyond failure, and nothing that he wills can be denied. You are forever in a relationship so holy that it calls to everyone to escape from holiness and join you in your love. And where you are must everyone seek and find you there. Think but an instant on this. God gave the Sonship to you to ensure your perfect creation. This was His gift, for as He withheld Himself not from you, He withheld not His creation. Nothing that ever was created but is yours. Your relationships are with the universe. And this universe, being of God, is far beyond the petty sum of all the separate bodies you perceive. For all its parts are joined in God through Christ, where they become like to their Father. Christ knows of no separation from His Father, who is His one relationship, in which He gives as His Father gives to Him. The Holy Spirit is God's attempt to free you of what He does not understand and because of the source of the attempt, it will succeed. The Holy Spirit asks you to respond as God does, for He would teach you what you do not understand. God would respond to every need, whatever form it takes, and so He keeps this channel open to receive His communication to you and yours to Him. God does not understand your problem in communication, for He does not share it with you. It is only you who believe that it is understandable. The Holy Spirit knows that it is not understandable, and yet He understands it because you made it. In the Holy Spirit alone lies the awareness of what God cannot know, and what you do not understand. It is His holy function to accept them both, and by removing every element of disagreement, to join them into one. He will do this because it is His function. Leave then what seems to you to be impossible, because it is the will of God, and let him whose teaching is only of God teach you the only meaning of relationships. 
for God created the only relationship that has meaning, and that is his relationship with you. And now we continue with the workbook. Lesson 122 Forgiveness offers everything I want. What could you want forgiveness cannot give? Do you want peace? Forgiveness offers it. Do you want happiness? A quiet mind, a certainty of purpose, and a sense of worth and beauty that transcends the world? Do you want care and safety and the warmth of sure protection always? Do you want a quietness that cannot be disturbed? A gentleness that never can be hurt? A deep abiding comfort and a rest so perfect it can never be upset? All this forgiveness offers you and more. It sparkles on your eyes as you awake and gives you joy with which to meet the day. It soothes your forehead while you sleep and rest upon your eyelids so you see no dreams of fear and evil, malice and attack. And when you wake again, it offers you another day of happiness and peace. All this forgiveness offers you and more. Forgiveness lets the veil be lifted up that hides the face of Christ from those who look with unforgiving eyes upon the world. It lets you recognize the Son of God and clears your memory of all dead thoughts so that remembrance of your Father can arise across the threshold of your mind. What would you want forgiveness cannot give? What gifts but these are worthy to be sought? What fancied value, trivial effect, or transient promise, never to be kept, can hold more hope than what forgiveness brings? Why would you seek an answer other than the answer that will answer everything? Here is the perfect answer given to imperfect questions, meaningless requests, half-hearted willingness to hear, and less than halfway diligence in partial trust. Here is the answer. Seek for it no more. You will not find another one instead. God's plan for your salvation cannot change, nor can it fail. Be thankful it remains exactly as He planned it. Changelessly it stands before you like an open door, with warmth and welcome calling from beyond the doorway, bidding you to enter in and make yourself at home where you belong. Here is the answer. Would you stand outside while all of heaven waits for you within? Forgive and be forgiven. As you give, you will receive. There is no plan but this for the salvation of the Son of God. Let us today rejoice that this is so, for here we have an answer clear and plain, beyond deceit in its simplicity. All the complexities the world has spun of fragile cobwebs disappear before the power and the majesty of this extremely simple statement of the truth. Here is the answer. Do not turn away in aimless wandering again. Accept salvation now. It is the gift of God and not the world. The world can give no gifts of any value to a mind that has received what God has given as its own. God will salvation be received today, and that the intricacies of your dreams no longer hide their nothingness from you. Open your eyes today and look upon a happy world of safety and of peace. Forgiveness is the means by which it comes to take the place of hell. In quietness it rises up to greet your open eyes and fill your heart with deep tranquility as ancient truths, forever newly born, arise in your awareness. What you will remember then can never be described, yet your forgiveness offers it to you. Remembering the gifts of forgiveness gives, we undertake our practice today 
with hope and faith that this will be the day salvation will be ours. Earnestly and gladly we will seek for it today, aware we hold the key within our hands, accepting heaven's answer to the hell we made, but where we would remain no more. Morning and evening do we gladly give a quarter of an hour to the search in which the end of hell is guaranteed. Begin in hopefulness, for we have reached the turning point at which the road becomes far easier. And now the way is short that we travel. We are close, indeed, to the appointed ending of the dream. Sink into happiness as you begin these practice periods, for they hold out the sure rewards of questions answered and what your acceptance of the answer brings. Today it will be given you to feel the peace forgiveness offers and the joy the lifting of the veil holds out to you. Before the light you will receive today, the world will fade until it disappears and you will see another world rise. You have no words to picture. Now we walk directly into light and we receive the gifts that have been held in store for us since time began, kept waiting for today. Forgiveness offers everything you want. Today all things you want are given you. Let not your gifts recede throughout the day as you return again to meet a world of shifting change and bleak appearances. Retain your gifts in clear awareness as you see the changeless in the heart of change, the light of truth behind appearances. Be tempted not to let your gifts slip by and drift into forgetfulness, but hold them firmly in your mind by your attempts to think of them at least a minute each quarter of an hour passes by. Remind yourself how precious are these gifts with this reminder which has power to hold your gifts in your awareness through the day. Forgiveness offers everything I want. Today I have accepted this as true. Today I have received the gifts of God. Amen.